Oh yeah. Hello everybody, what is up? It's MV Perry, and today I bought every single Alphabet Lore plushie off of Amazon. About $185 to $200, I can't remember specifically. They came in a weirdly flat package. The moment I cut it open, they started to puff up a bit. Look at this, guys. Look at X. It looks like he literally got crushed by, um, you know those giant stone things in Super Mario? Look at this. Who even is this? Maybe this is W. I'm, I'm gonna guess it's W because it's purple. But it could be G. It was W and J. Okay, that makes more sense. I was wondering why I was so big. Hey, here we go. I'm gonna rate each one of these on how good I think the plushie turned out. Keep in mind, once again, these are not official plushies. A, A. Isn't that what he says? I think he has like a more chill voice. Because I'm looking at the actual A here on screen. This eye is a little bit slanted. Like, what's going on here? So I will give this one a solid eight. It looks okay. All right, next we got B. So this is B, the plushie edition. The eyes is the thing that they always kind of get weird. I don't think it's supposed to be, like, I don't know. I feel like it's supposed to be a little bit more tilted. So I'll give this one a seven out of 10. I don't think it looks as good as A. A looks better to me. We'll give B a solid 7 out of 10. Here we got C, as you can see. Ah, and the eyes are okay. They did okay on the eyes. But the real problem here, he's got a straight up underbite. Like, his jaw's coming out like he was E. Like, E has an underbite. That's how he's made. But C, what is going on here? Like, it's not even. C is perfectly even, I'm pretty sure, on alphabet lore. It's hard, because the other parts of it look okay. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Alright, here we got D. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks, it, looks like, just, it looks like a mini pillow is what it looks like. Yeah, you know, actually, I, I kind of want to use D as a pillow. I'm not going to lie. But let's see. Let's see. It's pretty comfortable. I, actually, you know, I, if you were a little kid on an airplane or something, you know, even me, if I was on an airplane and I, this is all I had with me, I would probably use it as a pillow. D alphabet lore, I give it um, 6 out of 10. I think it's better than C. D is always going to look goofy. That's just how he looks already. So next up we have E. The thing I find interesting here is E, the letter from alphabet lore, he looks dumb. Like I'm not trying to be mean to E. I don't have anything against him. But look at this E plushie here. He doesn't necessarily look dumb. He looks mean. Like he looks like he wants to attack you. And also his teeth are really messed up. Like uh, it, it's that same material that C has. I'll rate him a five out of 10. He, he's okay, but it doesn't fit his personality. He looks like he's mean. All right, everybody. We got our favorite today. You know, my favorite letter or alphabet lore letter. We got letter F and boy, did they do my boy letter F dirty. The proportions are horrible here. First of all, as you can see with the actual letter F, you know, he's got a little bit more, it's supposed to go down a little bit more, <coughs> but like two thirds of the plushie is his mouth. He got a little stem for his body and his eyes. It's like here, if I try to make it look like F, there we go. If I place it like that, it kind of looks like F, but that's not how it is. We got one eye on the back of his head. We got another eye on top of his head. We'll give this one a three out of 10. I'm being extra harsh because I love him so much. I feel like they've really messed him up. All right, next we got G and Damn, son, I'm surprised. Up to this point, it's been mostly disappointment after disappointment. Cool, but G here looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed with this one. Look at this. You know, proportion seems right to me. Maybe he's a little small. Uh, I think, I feel like he's a little bit small, but that's it. That's the only flaw I see. He's a dark purple. He's got that smug smile. He's like, gee, what's up? Yeah, you know, this one's pretty good. I give it a nine out of 10. Now we got the H the ghost. This one's actually had an extra time to fluff up. Keep in mind, everybody, Sister Snail's fuzzing these up for me to make sure that they're like not flat because they came super flat. The mouth looks great. It's 100% accurate. Uh, the eyes, pretty good. I don't see any too, too many issues with this. I guess this is supposed to be like the, cause you know how he's got those little um, wedges up here. This is supposed to be like that, but you know what? Another good plushie, like I I'm, I'm impressed, but eight out of 10. All right, next up we have letter I. This is really ironic to me considering all the other plushies. I feel like they're too small. I is too big. Everybody knows I is the little baby. He's like, I, and he's like tiny and he gets bullied and you know, F just is gonna be like, he does look adorable though, I will say that. I is very adorable, he's very soft, very squishy. Honestly, even, maybe even better than D because we got more neck support. Uh, seven out of 10. All right, next up we got the sussest of all, it's J. And I always complain about J's susness, how he literally has his butt out and, and like, the way he looks at us, he looks so sus. But um, they kind of forgot his most important detail, his sus butt. It's not here, it's gone. We got a Sharpie, a genuine Sharpie, permanent marker, fine point. He looks pretty happy, he's about to get his butt. I know some people will be like, Envy Perry, what are you doing? Why are you messing up the plushie, it's brand new. Hey, I'm fixing it, this is how he's supposed to look. Jay's got the butt, baby. 
8 out of 10. Next up we have K. What is going on here? What are they doing to his mouth? I don't know. This one looks really bad. I'm trying to fix it by bending it down, but uh, it's literally the way it's stitched in. No mercy on this. 2 out of 10. Next up we got L. L. You know L is always being... He's so smug. Oh. Oh. Let's see, I'm comparing him on my screen. I'm looking at him next to the actual L image. And it looks pretty good. L has a little indent on his chin. Literally the butt chin thing, but like to a smaller degree. But it's just, it's not here. It's not here to be seen. L's getting some plastic surgery as we speak, or marker surgery. Alright, so here's L. And here is his chin. I don't know, we're trying, okay guys? The plushie itself is pretty good. It just was missing the chin thing. So I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. It's not bad. Definitely not bad at all. This guy's huge. Looks like the Markiplier M. Or rather, M. B. Perry, right? You know what? When you look at M in this image right here, compared to all the other outfits, he's huge. He's bigger than all of them. He is a pretty, uh, big, meaty, masculine dude. This one actually looks pretty good. Uh, in terms of quality, it feels great. The eye placement is good. The color is good. The sizing is good. I give this one a solid 9 out of 10. S. And you know what? Now we have... Is, I gotta say, this is probably one of the weirdest of all the alphabet lore letters slash plushies because he, he looks like a snake. Uh, 7 out of 10. I feel like they made him a little bit thicker than he should be. He, he looks kind of fat. He's like a fat N. This is what happens when N eats too many nachos. But uh, besides that, it's pretty good. You know, they got the mouth right. It's like slanted like this. 8 out of 10. Not amazing to get to 9 out of 10, but good enough that it scores a solid 8 out of 10. Stack him on Mount. Mount Alphabet. Here we have letter O. So here we go. It's the O guy. He's like, oh. Wait, look, look at my mouth. Watch. Is it matching up with my mouth? Let me see. But you know, I'll give this one a 6 out of 10. It's not horrible, but it's definitely not like amazing. Next up, we got a fan favorite, P. P, this is Pedro. Like, looks like a boy. Where's the eyelashes? Where, and it's also not even, uh, not even the right shade of pink. P is supposed to be darker pink, but 5 out of 10. There you go. P going on top of Mount Alphabet. I know they're gonna fall, but I'm gonna keep stacking them. I'm literally gonna stack them. I'm not putting them down here anymore. I'm just gonna keep stacking until they fall. Right, so we got another fan favorite. This one's a little, a cute little fella. Look, he's sliding over. Watch. Look, there we, there we go. There he is. It's Q. Q has a weird little habit where all he does is say Q. They got a few, quite a few things accurate here. These little things here. He's got his teeth, which is actually accurate, 100%. Literally his teeth. I'm looking at the image right now. His eyes. They're slightly bent, they got the gray eyelids. It's all accurate, because he's cute. No! He's great, a uh, really good pleasure. I give him a solid nine out of 10. R, was he broken or did I, is this my fault? Did I open it with this? That's probably my fault. But this R, he looks like a meth head. He's like a tweaker or something. And he looks like he's happy too. Solid six out of 10, it's okay. The slice is my fault, that's not their fault. All right, next up we got T. Uh, the eyes are accurate, the teeth are accurate, but he's got these, it's a little detail. I might be looking into this a little too much, but there's a little detail. As you can see here, he's got like these little gills, like these shark fin, shark gill type things. You know, he looks like a shark. He's a hammerhead shark. That's the, the idea behind his design, I think. But uh, where's the gills? I don't see them. It looks okay. Nothing too bad about this. Seven out of 10. All right, this is funny because he is the perfect color for green screen effects. Look at that. Look how he looks. <laughs> No, you'll see on the edit. <laughs> She's laughing because she doesn't see it, but in, in, in the edit, you'll see. 7 out of 10. It's not bad. Yeah, letter V. There we go. He's a funny little fella. Look at him. He, you can already tell he's on that caffeine rush. I think this one's pretty accurate. I really don't have anything to complain about with this one. I'll say 8 out of 10. All right, let's go. Let's go. We got another fan favorite. A personal favorite, actually. W. I always say double V because... You know, they're, they look like two different conjointed twins. The eyelash thing, similar to P, look, you know, both girls don't have eyelashes. And second of all, W's whole thing is she's like, like her eyes are tired. But this here makes her look like she's angry. It's too bad, because I really like this this character and this letter, but the actual plushie itself, I gotta be honest, it's probably, I like how big it is. So I will say six out of 10, they got the color right. So next up we have X. So this is really cool. I love how it's kind of flexible, but it doesn't come off completely. It's not like printed on. The face is perfect, it looks just like him. He even got the little stress mark lines or whatever to show how uh, angry he is, or determined really. I think he's more determined than angry. I wanna give it a nine out of 10. Why looks as cute as ever, she looks afraid a little bit, like she should be. And uh, unlike the other ones who had eyelashes and they didn't add them, they actually did give her eyelashes. So you know, she does have eyelashes here and there. Looks really good, I'm very happy with this one. Solid eight out of 10, maybe even a nine. Last but not least, everybody, this is the last one on the list, 
And to be fair, I mean, come on. We all know Z is a giant planet. Like, he's huge. So there's no way they're sending me a giant oversized Z plushie. That would just be ridiculous. Like, well, if you look closely, he looks good and everything, but what is all these strings? What is this? Frustrating to have these things coming out. Very good looking plushie. I love the little detail where his eyes, you know, it's not just his eyelids, but the bottom eyelids are up a little bit to show that he's sad. He's crying because that's kind of his whole thing. He's constantly depressed because he has to watch all the alphabet lords fighting with each other. It looks great to me. I give this one a solid 8 out of 10 again. This is a, this is a good plushie. And that is the final plushie on the list today. So I got MVP for MV Perry. That's my channel, everybody. S. N. A. I. L. There we go. That looks pretty good, actually. You know, I'm pretty happy with that. Here, I'll take a picture on my phone and I'll, I'll, I'll edit it in on the video. But yeah, okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. And if you know, and if you have ideas for these alphabet lower plushy videos, as always, my name's Evie Perry, and I'll see you in the next video.